I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father, I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda, indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time have listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues hath I listened to. Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner, who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as last night. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Uh, she's an idiot, or oh, it's true love. I don't know. I'm going to go with true love. There we go. Made my, made me mind up pretty quickly. Let's go with it. Sometimes, when you meet someone who's going to change your life, you just know it, I guess. Also, you've got parents coming to see the show, right? At 20 bucks a ticket, it's gotta be true love. Wow. A romantic and a cynic. <laughs> that actually kinda helps me. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh, what? <laughs> Just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah, sure. Okay, uh, get the belt, don't say any stupid shit, and don't, like, fall down. <laughs> Should be doable, right? R.A. will suck as Prospera. If V.C. had any talent, maybe she would have gotten the part. Talent? Is that what got Mr. K to cast you, slut? Guess they don't call it Drama Lab for nothing. I guess not. That's the nicest backpack I've seen in my life. That's a cool backpack. Reminds me, I need to get myself a new backpack. Rachel looks so happy here. There's Rachel's belt. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. Alrighty. To internet or not to internet? I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. I think we, uh, we've seen that. Earlier. Why do theater kids take themselves so seriously? If you guys want to go ahead and read any of this, uh, you can go ahead and pause and do so. Um, this is something I will probably end up reading uh, in between uh, episodes and when I'm editing. Pop, uh, pop these both on for you.
Hey now, sharing is caring. <laughs> Don't think there's anything else in here. I guess the Prescott donation doesn't cover this. If I'd known acting meant getting to play with weapons, I totally would have auditioned for the the Tempest. <laughs> Should be life is drama. Sweet collar, Pepe. Rachel Amber, drama star and guardian angel. I still can't believe that was her last night. Graffiti? Um, I always like to see what she writes or draws. Save my know. life. Get some ink. Hmm. It's cool. That's an achievement for doing so. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta turn up the heat. I'm gonna guess it's from Logan. Anything else I'm missing? Costume there must rack? Must be a hundred costumes in here. <laughs> Am I the only student who's not in this show? Uh, Rachel? Is this your belt? Yes! <laughs> Thank you. I bring it to Ethroid over. Um, let's bring it to her. Alright, the audio's gone really quiet all of a sudden. Um, that was a cool costume, I'd say that. I really liked your costume. Thanks. So... Did you bring flowers for my dressing room? Um, I'll owe you. Uh, <laughs> I guess I owe you. I'll hold you to that. I'll let you finish changing now. <laughs> Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. Um, Firewalk was pretty good. I, I, I'd never seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Uh, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Uh, fuck yes, let's do it. Fuck yes. I was born to ditch. I hoped you'd say that. Know about that eye? That is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? A uh, great idea, why not? Yes, please. People won't shut up about it. Hold still. This is a lot of makeup. That's the price of valor. Close your eyes.
Much better. Holy shit. Let's get the hell out of here. You sure you don't want to just grab the bus, or...? Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Well? What the hell am I getting into here? I'm sure that's the crossing where she almost dies, uh, in the first game. Where does this thing go? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. Uh, the Texas Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these crates. Just got a text message from Elliot. Let's uh, see what he says. Um Hey, where weren't you in Cam? Everything okay? Yep. Um What's happened with Alright. Guess we're not the first ones to hop on this train. I wonder what the symbols mean. Whoa, Nathan's dad is a Terminator? That totally checks out. All right. I feel pretty confident there's going to be a dead body in here. There's my chair. Oh, let's move it. Things heavier than it looks. Guess I should sit down. I see humans, but no humanity. Everybody is somebody, but no one wants to be themselves. <laughs> Some preachy graffiti up in this train. Hmm. Let's uh, have a little bit of a drawing session. Why not? I thought this would be a good place for graffiti. May as well. Oh, uh, we're monsters. Why not? I'm really liking these like uh, graffiti Human things. Is another word for monster. Nope, and she actually uh, wrote it. I thought she was going to draw. Anyway, there's an, there's the achievement for it. I was supposed to read Huck Finn in English last year. Now I'm living it. Price one. Twain, zero. Just another typical day, skipping school with Rachel Amber. There's my chair. All right, let's have a sit down. All right, Chloe, you're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Hmm. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? I say nothing nice weather. Um, let's go with um. Try and start a conversation. Uh. <laughs> so. Um, what is wrong with you? What? You're acting nervous. So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. Uh, 
Um. Hey, so I want to say thanks for pulling you out of school. No, dummy. Thanks for last night. Ah. Uh, if you hadn't shown up. Assholes abound in Arcadia Bay. I owe you. That's for sure. Is that why you came along? Are you suggesting I should need a reason to ditch school? I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Um, I love company. I love company. Let's go with that. Good to fucking go. Anything beats another second in Blackwell. You really hate it there, don't you? You don't? <laughs> right. What reason would Rachel Amber have for hating Blackwell Academy? Your high school royalty. You don't know me. Yet. Alright. Let's do something fun. Agree or flirt? Um... V-card's been punched, Rachel. I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> That's the one thing she's gonna say. Well, I don't know. Okay, something fun. I'm all ears. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play two truths and a lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is a lie. Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. All right. Sounds fun. Sounds fun. You're on. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway. To which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu? One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought Sounds moving fun. away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay. <laughs> so, ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? Right, so the Leo was just sort of thrown in there. The ambidextrous was sort of just I'm ambidextrous. The, the there's the thing, and then she sort of went on a bit of a spiel about New York. So if it's two truths and a lie, like it could just be the last one. What she just threw in there, like I'm a Leo, the ambidextrous thing. I think it was New York, just because of the spear she went on. Let's go with it. You seem more like a Cali girl to me. Damn, Price, not bad. Long Beach, in fact. West Coast is the best coast. I've only ever Got lived in Oregon, so nothing to compare it to, I guess. Then we'll have to change that one day, won't we? Okay. Your turn, Price. First fact. Right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. 
Um, we're gonna go with the rules because I like the rules. Um, well, I think we'll go truth or lie, truth. Let's do it. Yeah, country makes it makes you throw up. I love science. Um, I love science. I love science. Seriously, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson is the shit. Huh. Pretty cool. Alright, let's go with a lie. I broke my hand. Punching someone. I'm allergic to cats. I'm in a band. Um. I'm gonna go with I'm allergic to cats. Mm, no. Because she said she was a Leo. <laughs> Wouldn't be good. Um, I broke my hand punching someone. Let's go with that. I once broke my hand punching Stephanie Kowalski in fifth grade. No way. Bitch took my yoo-hoo. Knocked her the fuck out. I see you like to write notes to yourself. Helps me stay focused. Also, sweet scar. All right, let's go with another truth. I wanted to be a pirate when I was a kid. Let's do that, because uh, she does have a lot of pirate stuff, so let's go with it. I used to want to be a pirate when I grow up. I kind of still do. Arr. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. Of course you wanted to be a pirate. Sail the open seas. Buckle swash. Plunder secret treasure. Did I mention my love of booty? <laughs> <laughs> so, pirate. Obviously true. Uh, be my first mate? Question mark? Why not? Maybe you'd like to be my first mate. Oh, are you accepting applications? Considering it. Okay, you say you love science, but you are failing chemistry. You're saying failing chemistry means I hate science? Or that Blackwell doesn't inspire your best work. Blackwell is a hellhole. That place is a hellhole filled with shit, where shitty people go to be shitty to each other and themselves. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel, though. Anyway, school sucks, but you love science. I'm gonna say true. She got it right. Now, about this broken hand story. It's not that I don't think you could knock Stephanie Kowalski out. A bitch takes your yoo-hoo, she's gotta get got. Tam straight. But, you didn't get that scar from punching someone. No. That scar is from a distal radius fracture. How could you know that? How could you possibly know that? I broke my wrist when I was 10. Ah. The point Makes is- Makes sense. I know that the scar you've got comes with breaking your wrist when you fall. Like, from a skateboard? Yeah. I guess... six years ago? Seven. Well, shit. He's good. I always thought I was a good liar. Good thing you're pretty. Alright. So... If my math is correct, you told me two truths and one lie. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. Uh, I'm impressed. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. 
Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right <laughs> of my own. Car first. Embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. But eye patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. I guess. That it is. You opened up a lot. That's all. It's not a big deal. I hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. Uh, I trust you. I'm just not really into touchy-feely shit. But I feel like I can trust you. Yeah? I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. Wouldn't mind listening to some music. Share with Rachel, I'll listen alone. Let's share it. It'll be a bit awkward if we just listened alone. Hey, want to listen? They've got an amazing soundtrack again. This game series seems to have a pretty good soundtrack so far, and I mean, I'm actually really enjoying it. Probably going to get copyrighted for most of the songs, but I'll, I'll get, um, yeah. I don't really mind. This game's cool. I'm enjoying it. Hope you guys are too. Like, I don't really want to cut off the music so I'm actually kind of sort of uh, liking the um, like the visuals and stuff like uh, one thing they did really well on this game is the art style it's like one of those types of art styles which doesn't really get old like it ages well I don't see this game getting outdated very quickly. And plus the story is actually fairly good as well. I actually really enjoyed the story so far. We're only a few hours into the game so... I think we're closely um, approaching the end of uh, episode 1 now. I don't know if I should just let the song play out or... Do we have to skip? Well, we'll just let it play out. Why not? Let you guys uh, listen to the music and me ramble a little bit. I, th there's only one thing about this game is I don't actually talk very much. It's sort of one of those chill games where I don't have to talk much. It's, it's sort of like a storytelling game. It's the type of game I like. I really like storytelling games. I do like multiplayer games, but... This is a nice break. I haven't actually played a multiplayer game in a while though. Still really enjoy the music. I 
We've also got a couple of more games left after this one as well. So we've got um, The Life is Strange 2 as well as... Uh, I can't remember what the other one's called now. It's just sort of sad that um, the person we're sat next to right now in the next game of what happens. So if you guys haven't seen the last um, the last game we played through, we played through it recently, um, just a few months ago. If you guys uh, look in the description of this video, um, the link to Life is Strange um, is down there as well. So if you guys want to go catch up on that or watch that through, it's there for you guys to watch. Go ahead and watch it. I would. Alrighty, I think um, I think that's enough of sitting here listening to music. Cool bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. Uh, I hear you. Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. Sometimes I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe. If one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out! We're here! What? Where is here? Jump and find out! Did you say jump? Jump! Alright, let's jump. Fuck it!